Hey Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate you being here for your weekly reading. We're going to be looking into all sorts of messages here for you. So it is for anyone that has Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as their Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign. Um, or if you're uh, dealing with an Air sign, this reading can be helpful in terms of any sort of situations that are coming up around you and this person. Before I jump into it and have a look at overall energy for the week, um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get updates for readings for your sign or your element. Um, and also, if anyone does want to become a member of the channel, that's going to give you access to member-only content. Um, and you can do that via the join button on my homepage of the channel. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what the overall energy is for air signs this coming week. Okay, what do we have? We've got the Two of Swords, very Gemini energy that's coming through here. So I definitely feel like there is a lot of subconscious activity uh, that's coming up around you. We've got the moon, so this could be cancer energy. Some of you are not feeling maybe as emotionally secure in a connection or with a person. Uh, and I feel like you're in an energy where you're sort of shutting yourself off from the world, um, air signs. Now, it can be because of the recent past. So if you've dealt with something that's been quite anxiety-inducing, which that moon can bring, it's very likely that you're sort of just wanting to distance yourself. Um, I get a lot of you, you're sort of going to be like doing a bit of a disappearing act. You're going a little bit MIA here. So deactivating your social media, um, you know, taking a, a hiatus, taking time off work, you know, sort of withdrawing and distancing yourself because I feel like emotionally you have a lot on your plate. Um, I don't know if this is following a rejection of something here with the Two of Swords. I mean, some of you feeling rejected or you're doing the rejection, rejecting, pushing a person away, a situation away because you no longer want it, you no longer see a future. You've got the blindfold on, so Air signs, a lot of you are like not seeing what's ahead for your future and it's it's making you unsettled. Okay, we're gonna get some cards here for um uh for clarification. Okay, so I'm getting rejection. There could be a bit of a fork in the road. Some of you have multiple options, but it's like you don't want either option. And what you had, I'm gonna read this as a reversal. You had the ace of wands reversed. Again, the moon has come up. Okay. You're not feeling like you have some sort of emotional connection with a person or where you're at. You feel like you have no ties and you're not feeling home. You're not feeling anchored and you don't want to take any action. Okay. And I feel like maybe that's the thing right now. You just need to go through these emotions because Ace of Wands, I feel like even if you wanted to do something, you couldn't. So you sort of feel like a bit, a bit restricted in a way. Even if you wanted to take the active steps, you can't. For some reason, you can't. Okay, you've got the Ace of Cups. So new starts, new opportunities, new connections are coming to you. The universe, God, spirit is sending you these. So emotionally, you are in a new chapter. And I feel like this rejection or this like shutting out, whatever you need to do, you need to go MIA, you need to disappear, do it. Do it because it's going to open the doors potentially with a water sign here. We've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Moon has come up a couple of times. So some of you have a new Cancer coming up around you. Um, you also have the Nine of Wands. So you're suspicious about anyone new that comes your way or like new opportunities. You're sort of thinking like, what's in it for me? What do I get out of this? Is this too good to be true? Like you're questioning the authenticity of things. Okay, we've got the Two of Cups, strong Pisces energy and strong twin flame soulmate energy. Some of you, every rejection is a redirection. You're being led to a soulmate or a twin flame here, possibly meeting someone you'll get married to. Okay, you also have the King of Swords come up. Um, okay, a lot of information is coming your way. A lot of communication is coming your way. Again, you might reject it, but that's not to say it's not going to... It's not going to come up for you anyway. Okay, I feel like Pisces energy is definitely to be in that water energy that's come up with the Two of Cups. Okay, definitely see how that Two of Swords, Two of uh, Two of Cups is like. There's just either I'm I'm seeing there's a lot of people involved in a situation, or there's a lot of people telling you different things, or there's there's two choices that are currently around you. And it's like you can't make up your decision. Eventually you will. You're going to go with the one that resonates most with you. But that's going to take time. 
Um, but I feel like you're being suspicious of anyone new that's coming up in your life right now. You're in a number two vibration, which, which is the relationship number. Okay, it's a number of coming together with a partnership. Some of you are meeting a soulmate. And isn't it funny, like when you're down in your life and you don't really know what's ahead and where you're going and what plans you're making, suddenly a person can come in and change absolutely everything for you in the best way possible. And you don't see it now because you've got a blindfold on. And you know, that's just how it is in life. We don't always see, we can't always predict what's ahead for us. Sometimes there's very magical things like that Ace of Cups um, that brings us, you know, these new chapters. So I do feel a lot of you are entering a relationship cycle in your life very soon, um, or you might be in it now. But I feel like a lot of you, you're just, there might be someone really pursuing you and you keep pushing them away. Maybe the, the timing's off. I don't know, that nine of ones is telling me you got hurt really badly, so you're putting your walls up. And that's okay too. It could be a fire sign. Okay, the fire sign that hurt you a lot. Um, I'm getting there. It might be a fire sign here that has hurt you and then never did anything about it. Like they never apologized. They never... You know, they never messaged you to check up on you. They never sort of wanted a truce. Like they sort of did the dirty on you like that and you weren't too happy about it. So you've got your guard up, not just towards them, but towards anyone new that comes your way. But you could have a beautiful water sign. I feel like it's a Pisces that could really, um, it could be this air sign as well, this air king. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could be coming up or maybe they're one of your options. Uh, and I feel like, He's like, he slayed this, this giant monster here, this lizard or dinosaur, whatever it is. Um, he slayed it. So I feel like you've got someone that's just going to slay. Like if you're after someone super loving and super attractive, they're going to nail it. If you're after someone really ambitious and a social butterfly, they're going to be that person. Like you have someone who is really going to knock it out of the park. Like they're going to blow your mind, but you just... You don't see it happening yet because of your current circumstances. And that's okay. I feel like if you need to be in that two of swords energy, do it. You know, take time off. Um, postpone those events. Get away from social media. Get off the grid. Take that holiday. You know, do whatever you need to do to recharge those batteries because I feel like you're going to need them once all these changes come into place here. Keep your guard up because, you know, that's that's a protective measure. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of information that's coming your way and I think that's going to help you understand why things happened the way they did, um, especially if it's about your recent past with that moon card, you're sort of going to understand everything um, and you'll be able to piece it together better than you ever thought possible. So just be patient. I know that's hard for us, air signs, but we can if we really, really want to. So hang in there lots of wonderful things coming your way so i'm gonna leave it there thank you gemini libra aquarius i do hope you have a wonderful week don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already otherwise i'm sure i'll catch you very soon so thanks again everyone and bye for now